tragic actor Bradley Welsh left a £450,000 fortune when he was assassinated outside his flat, it has emerged. The T2 train spotting star was murdered on his doorstep in Edinburgh, Scotland, in 2019 while his partner and young child were inside their home yards away. He was fatally shot in the head by contract killer Sean Orman, who was last year sentenced to 28 years in prison after being found guilty at the High Court. Bradley, who starred in Danny Boyle's 2017 train spotting sequel and also ran a boxing gym in the city, was killed while his partner Emma Grant and young daughter were inside the flat. Legal documents have now revealed he had a total estate in Scotland worth £448,293, Edinburgh Live Report. It is thought the bulk of estate was an insurance payout following his brutal slaying. It is expected the estate will be passed to his daughter. At the High Court in Edinburgh, Orman denied any wrongdoing but was convicted by jurors of the April 2019 killing following a 12-day trial. He claimed to have been riding a bike alone in Kirk Newton, West Lothian, at the time Welsh died. But he was caught after driving a high-powered Audi Q3 through the streets of Edinburgh at speeds exceeding 123 miles per hour. Orman was sentenced to life with a minimum of 28 years behind bars by Judge Lord Beckett. He was also found guilty of attempting to murder David Macmillan, 50 the month before the shooting after he struck him on the head and body with a machete. Lord Beckett described the shooting of Welsh as a premeditated and meticulously planned assassination. He added, the degree of planning which went into this might have seen you get away with this if it weren't for the courage of the citizens of Edinburgh coming forward to speak up about what you did. To shoot an unarmed man as he approached his own house was a cowardly as, as a wicked thing to do. Assistant Chief Constable Judy Heaton said at the time, Our thoughts today are with Bradley's family who have lost a much-loved father, partner, brother and uncle. Police Scotland carried out a thorough, robust and professional investigation into Bradley's murder and I hope today's conviction and sentence helps to bring his family some degree of comfort. The Police Investigations and Review Commissioner PIRC, carried out an independent, ground-directed investigation into the actions of the police in relation to Bradley's death which we fully assisted, and their report was submitted to the Crown for consideration. We will be contacting Bradley's family in the near future to discuss those matters and to offer our support and condolences.